Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss some multiple choice question based on the molecular biology. The first question is distance between the strands of the DNA is. It means the question is saying that what is the diameter of the DNA? What is the diameter of DNA? And if we talk about the B DNA, if we consider the B DNA, which is the most common type of the DNA discovered by Watson and Crick then the diameter of the DNA is 20 angstrom means he is asking that what is the diameter between the two strands of the DNA so it is 20 angstrom we can also show the diameter of DNA by this diagram A double bond T G triple bond C sugar sugar here also sugar sugar and this is phosphate right these are the two strands of the DNA which can be drawn like this also means diameter of the DNA means the distance between the two phosphates and the distance between the two phosphates is 20 angstrom so the answer is 20 angstrom question number one is having the answer C okay now the second question is second question is DNA strands are anti parallel because we know very well that the two strands of the DNA are anti parallel okay they are anti parallel both the chains run anti parallel to each other if this is 5 prime then this is 3 prime if this is 5 prime this is 3 prime now the question arises that the DNA strands are anti parallel because of which bonds so the DNA chains are anti parallel because of because of hydrogen bonds now we know very well that in between the nitro in between the nitrogen bases what are present hydrogen bonds are present right and always remember that the nitrogen bases Combined with sugar at its C1 position, this is carbon, 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 and carbon. Right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And always remember the nitrogen base, MB means nitrogen base, combines at the C1 position. So it's it is only possible in the case of the hydrogen bonds. Okay. If the chains are anti parallel then only what can be formed the hydrogen bonds can be formed so dna strands are anti parallel just and just because of the hydrogen bonds so the question number 2 is having the answer a okay now question number 3 if dna is heated at 80 degrees celsius for 15 minutes what will happen we must know that whenever the dna is heated whenever the DNA is heated what will happen denaturation will occur denaturation occur what is denaturation double stranded DNA will be converted into single stranded DNA double stranded DNA will be converted into single stranded DNA how it will be converted say for if this is the DNA and the two DNA chains are held together by hydrogen bonds okay but when the DNA is heated when the DNA is heated at high temperature what will happen hydrogen bonds break hydrogen bonds break and two DNA chains are separated so what happens if DNA is heated at 80 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes what will happen so hydrogen bonds will break between the two chains and that's why the double stranded DNA will be converted into a single stranded DNA. So question number 3 is having the answer B. Okay. Now question number 4. The question is that if the number of amino acid in a polypeptide chain is 100. Say for if this is a polypeptide chain. Polypeptide chain means protein chain and a protein chain is made up of amino acid when many amino acids combine together 
with the help of a peptide bond, a polypeptide chain or a protein chain is formed. Now, the question is saying that the number of the amino acid in a polypeptide chain is 100. Then, we know very well that amino acid in a protein chain are actually coded by the codons found on the mRNA. So, what will be the number of nucleotides in its histone? So, number of nucleotides will be 300. Number of nucleotides will be 300. Question number 4 is having the answer B. Now the question arises why 300? Because we know very well that each amino acid is coded by a specific codon which is triplet which is triplet and a triplet consists of each triplet has three nucleotides so 100 amino acids will be coded by 100 codons each codon will be having three nucleotides so 100 into 3 300 so the answer is b in a nucleotide nitrogen base is attached to sugar at always remember always remember one thing that the nitrogen bases are attached at c1 position of sugar at c1 position of sugar this is a sugar this is carbon 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 and carbon one two three four and five always remember that the nitrogen base is attached to c1 of sugar so in a nucleotide nitrogen base is attached to sugar at so you can see that nitrogen base is attached to c1 so the answer is c1 carbon number one question number five is having the answer a so this questions were based on the molecular biology will be coming soon with few more videos thanks a lot if you want to take the screenshot you can take